In this video, I'm going to show you how to find some images. First, we're going to create a macro. You got to give it a name. I'm going to type find image and put that in tutorial section. First thing you do is you always start with begin or uh, begin loop. In this case, we'll just use begin. Now, it always gives you the uh, selections or you can just type it in. Since I'm going to use find, I'm going to use the mouse and just put a period. It'll give you other selections. We're going to do uh, image right now. So I'll show you how to do click at an image later. First we'll do move to an image. I don't have a path yet and I actually haven't uh, started an image so we're going to have to open up the investigator tool and get a screenshot. I'm going to move it out the way, go back and uh, we'll use the little file there. So I'll just uh, hit print screen for the investigator to get the image here. And I want this file. So up here you have the different things. You can load an image if you already have one saved save an image but that's going to be the whole screen I just want a portion of the screen so this little file with the box around it is how you uh, save a region of the screen or portion of it when you click on it you'll get this pop up it just says right click and drag and that will only save the area that you want to so if I right click and drag over just the file I can save it save it anywhere you want I'm just going to save over this image close out investigator and now um, I just have to type the path an easy way to get the path if you don't already know is uh, just go to the file right click on it select properties and in the properties it will have the location here it will have everything except the name so you just have to type in the name so now I can just paste that in and then type in image1.png the next thing is what percentage I'm just going to do 100% and then you just have to end it and that's pretty much the whole code so now the mouse should move to the image that we just made when I hit start and you can see it did that when you use it in this view you know this portion turns like that pinkish color when it's working and then back to white when it's stopped so you can see that it moved there we can also do I want to go ahead and save this so I don't have to retype it go back to mouse dot now we're going to click at the image so to do click at image I'm going to paste the path back in there it asks what the percentage is again we're going to use 100 then which button do I want to click? So I'm just going to type in left. And now it should do the same thing when I hit start, except when it goes over here, it's going to actually click on it. When it clicks on this, you'll see that uh, well, all this is going to disappear because it's going to actually start a new macro. And that's what it did. So you can go back, it automatically saved it since I already had everything in there. We can just open it up and do it again. That's pretty much how you do uh, find image um, using both click at it and find it.